Division within the EU over the response to Hamas's terrorist attack in Israel threatens to impede the bloc from having any meaningful influence on the future of the region. It's also potentially damaged the EU's credibility from having a strong voice on the importance of international law and protection of civilians during armed conflict. Europe's ambiguity has been criticised by EU partners, including King Abdullah of Jordan, who says the EU sees Palestinian lives as worth less than others. EU leaders called for humanitarian pauses as opposed to a ceasefire to let humanitarian aid into Gaza. It was put forward by countries such as Germany, who didn't want to be seen to interfere with Israel's right to defend itself. You know, I think Germany may even be more pro-Israeli in its stance and articulation of Israel's right to defend itself than the United States. And I don't think that position within Germany, that commands support across the coalition, is likely to change in the short to medium term, regardless of how the ground invasion progresses in Gaza and the civilian casualties and the devastation we're all now likely to see. And so that is clearly going to open up a rift within the European Council between those countries that have a slightly different position and perspective on the conflict. Um, And that, again, I think will subtract from European legitimacy influence At the UN General Assembly, four EU countries voted against a resolution on a ceasefire, despite the bloc having agreed a unified position a day earlier. Eight voted in favour and 15 abstained. So the question is whether this disjointed vote signals a difficulty for the EU in having any meaningful role in any future negotiations. I think it can still have a role. It is now... um... Uh, it has now to deal with a kind of handicap with regard to Arab countries and more globally, uh, more generally, with many partners in the South um, uh, that um, have lost somewhat their confidence in the uh, in the European Union uh, diplomacy. So we have to rebuild that. We have to reach out to all of them. But never forget that it was the European Union that came up with the idea of a two-state solution, the need for self-determination for the Palestinian, the support for the PLO as the representative of the Palestinian people. The EU has committed to an international peace conference to revive talks on a two-state solution. It was a demand put forward by Spain, who wanted stronger support for Palestinians in Gaza. In the meantime, the crushing war continues. Shona Murray, Euronews, Brussels.